Growing up, my fondest memories were at the beach with my family. I mean, whether we spent the, you know, the entire weekend there or we just went down for the day, we would have just a fabulous time. After I met my wife, Laura, it turned out that she had the same fond memories of the beach with her family. And so in 1995, we moved to the coast. Laura and I decided to build our own house, and we wanted to make sure that we built the highest quality house that we possibly could. So we studied construction methods along the coast from the best builders and the best craftsmen around. We started paying attention to some of the new developments that were going on and the houses that were being built, and we didn't understand why the same types of neighborhoods and villages that were were so endeared on the coast, you know, little beach cottages with front porches and uh, charming details that it seemed like weren't being built anymore. We said to ourselves, we think we can do something better. So after we built our first home and we realized that there was a very strong market for the kind of quality that we were building, we built several more homes on lots scattered all along the coast and it was very difficult for us because we started to realize that it was more than just building houses. The part of the coast that was so memorable to Laura and I were these small little villages and communities that were built uh, over 60 to 100 years ago. And it's that quality and the charm and the authenticity of those places that, that resonated with us. And we wanted to, we, we felt that they could be built again. So when we started our first neighborhood, Bella Beach, we quickly learned that people were not only excited about this, they, they wanted more. The first time we found Bella Beach, uh, it was like, wow, this is, this is fantastic. This is, what we wanna, this is what we wanna be a part of. And when they told us, hey, we have Seabrook coming, uh, we signed up that day. It was, uh, it was amazing. Casey and I started talking about the idea of making a town. And we had done Bella Beach beforehand and created a small neighborhood. Uh, and started to see the benefits of, of how that, that new ideal, that way of, of putting together houses into something more than just houses into a, a little community, had a, a real benefit. Sometimes it feels like we're almost uh, like homesteaders with uh, the early folks that have adopted this town, and I see all the people and how committed they are to it. And uh, there's absolute unanimity here that everyone feels like they're really part of something special that's only going to get better as the years unfold. What we wanted to really focus on though, first and foremost, was its place on this site and in this incredible natural environment up here on the bluff overlooking the ocean, surrounded by this, this old forest with streams flowing down on the north side and the south side, and that this new community would be very well placed and carefully placed within that natural environment. Seabrook's location on the rugged Washington coast is particularly interesting because it's close not only to the Olympic National Park, but to some of the region's most recognizable cities. Places like Seattle and Portland are just a short drive away. And what makes Olympic National Park so interesting is that it has access to some of the, the coast's most pristine beaches and old growth forests. At the turn of the century, just as today, many people come to this, this coast to do things like kite flying and clam digging and uh, some of the, the timeless things that never go out of style. The decision to uh, purchase at Seabrook was real simple. After the experiences that we had at Bella Beach of the increased property value and working with Casey, which you knew that things would get done and get done right, made that decision as soon as the opportunity to see a new town come up, uh, to jump into that on its ground floor was uh, an absolute, uh, just an invitation we couldn't pass up. One of the first things people notice when they come to Seabrook is that each house looks a little different from one another. In the very early days of our creation of the architectural style for Seabrook, uh, we, we thought it was important to go around to, to many of the great coastal towns of this region. And when we did that, we found that there were many good examples uh, of different architectural styles that adapted themselves well to the coastal climate and the, the spirit of the new town architecture that we were looking for for Seabrook. The result is that as you go through Seabrook, it feels as if it's a place you've been before, but it's completely new as well. Seabrook is designed like small towns, so that within about five minutes you can walk to all the things you need, whether it's to your friend's house, or to the park, or to the center of town, to Main Street, 
to a shop or a cafe, or down to the beach, out into the woods, uh, you know, to take a hike. Everything is within a very close proximity. About 25% of our customers building a second and even a third home with us. We basically have three types of clients that we build for. Our primary client purchased the home as a second home destination for their families. And the second client is someone who does the exact same thing but wants to rent it out and use the income towards their mortgage and, and expenses. And the third type of property owner that we have is a full-time resident who is really uh, excited about living in a, in a very vibrant community, a beach community. Owners have been very happy with our cottage rental program because we market their properties, make the reservations, and most importantly, watch over their properties when they're not around. It is very, very special to us to own here at Seabrook. We love looking out our window down the street and out into the park and just seeing families enjoying their days here. And it really is, is just a very special place. Growing up, I would read about families that would have this home away from home through the generations that they would go to. And I think that's part of what Seabrook represents for us as an opportunity to establish new traditions. This is a place where our family is making new memories and just loving our time together. And every, um, every time we gather here, we feel so blessed. When I was a kid, my folks had uh, a small place on the beach. And I remember summer after summer going uh, to our beach house and a lot of good memories with friends growing up and time with family. And we wanted a place where we could go, an investment in our children's future, that they would look back and remember a place that we spent a lot of happy memories together. I think Seabrook has the qualities to attract people who will come from miles around, from the Puget Sound area. They'll come, some will come to live, some will come to retire, and others will just come to get away and relax. I think for me, um, one of the most beautiful things I've heard my kids say is next year at Seabrook.